All right, I'm continuing to have fun with these uh, filters. And so I'm gonna do a simple filter here. This is just a two section one. Uh, it's gonna be 270 picofarad, 680 picofarad, 270 picofarad. And then I've got uh, two, two inductors, uh, 15 turns each. I, I don't care what the, what the correct values are or anything right now. I'm just looking at relative things. And so I built a little filter here. So it's got, uh, uh, here's the input capacitor, the, 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 the L, the C, the L, the C. This is the 680 and these are the two 270s. It's on a, uh, a board here and it's just wired up. There's a little loop here so I can connect grounds. Um, and so we're going to put this on our uh, analyzer. We'll sweep the filter and, and see what kind of performance we get out of it. All right, so I have this set up to be uh, zero to, uh, actually it's one megahertz to 30 megahertz. Uh, and that's the way it's set up. So we're gonna hook up our, uh, hook up our filter, uh, connect the two grounds, and connect the inputs and outputs. And there we go, looks like a filter. Uh, so it's flat and then it rolls off, right? So it's flat up to this second line here, seven megahertz. So it's it's flat up to seven megahertz and then it and then it falls down. Um, so at uh, fourteen megahertz, let's measure that. At fourteen megahertz, it's down by twenty one dB. Okay, so it's about we'll call it a twenty dB filter. Okay, twenty twenty one dB filter. Um, Okay, so let's go back and let's take a look at that drawing again. So I was thinking, I'm using two inductors and some capacitors, and I wondered if you could wind these two turns on the same core. Um, if there, there might be problems with winding them on the same core, you might get uh, uh, a transformer effect, you might couple one into the other and then it'll just kind of go through and won't do anything. Um, so I thought, well, maybe that would be a problem, but if you wind one out of phase with the other, maybe they'll cancel each other out. And so I thought, gee, um, you know, I've seen filters with double inductors wound on them. And, um, but I haven't seen it in any literature anywhere. I, I, I looked and looked and looked and looked. So if anybody, if anybody knows anything about this and can point me to some literature, I would love to know. Um, but I have not been able to find anybody who winds these on one core. And so I did. <laughs> why not? So I actually made two of them. Okay. Now, why did I make two of them? Well, uh, I made one where, uh, Everybody is winding in, in, say, the clockwise direction, and then when I start up the next coil, it's winding in the clockwise direction. On this one, it winds in the clockwise direction, and then when it gets here, it winds in the counterclockwise direction. And so this filter should, should be out of phase, and this filter should be in phase. Now, you might see that sometimes on, uh, on uh, drawings, and you, you might see a black dot on a winding and then uh, there'll be another winding on the same core and it'll have a black dot. And that says that these are both wound in the same direction. Um, but if you had a winding and the dot was at the bottom, that would say, oh, those are out of phase. So that's what those dots are all about is, is where does it begin and where does it end, right? And in, in what direction? Um, so. Uh, anyway, so I built two of them, okay? Like I said, this one is in phase and this one is out, what I'm calling out of phase. I don't know if that's the correct terminology or not, but this is all wound the same direction. This is wound halfway one direction, then wound halfway the separate direction. And so uh, they, they're all, they all came to come to meet at one here. That's in the, in the center here, right? So they all meet here. And then, so it's exactly the same. It's exactly the same filter. 15 turns on both sides. So these are these are 15 turns. They only go halfway around. These are 15 turns and 15 turns. So they go all the way around. Um, so it's a split. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Like I said, I've never seen anybody do this. And it, maybe it's a really, really dumb idea. <laughs> 
Um, so let's go measure them. Let's see what they do. Okay, we're gonna start with the, the one that I'm calling in phase. Uh, everybody goes in the same direction. Uh, so let's hook that one up. Let's see what he does. And there you go. Okay, well maybe that's why people don't do it. Um, it certainly is flat to seven megahertz and then starts to roll off, but at 14 megahertz, it's only uh, minus nine dB. Uh, so it's half of the filter. So doing it this way is only half as good. All right, so that's a failure. <laughs> Maybe that's why you never see it in the literature. Let's look at the other one. All right, let's hook it up. And, oh, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> wait a minute. That one works really good. Uh, we're down here at minus 20 dB. At 14 megahertz, we're at, we're at minus 19.84. So, you know, 20 dB. The other one's maybe 21, right? Can't really argue with that. So they're both operating about the same at 14 megahertz, but this one's very flat after that. But close in, it's got a big dip. So it's acting more maybe chubby chevy. <laughs> Is that a word? Chubby chef like. Um, and uh, it did get a little shorter though. So uh, if we look at the, at the marker here, the dip is happening at around nine megahertz and our seven megahertz is down by uh, almost 10 dB. So it, has, it is more efficient. This filter is more efficient. It would take less windings to do the same job because our flat spot is up here around five megahertz. So, so it shifted it over um, from seven megahertz to five megahertz. It, it, it seems like it's doing a better job of removing, uh, of filtering. Uh, there's more, more inductance. So uh, that's really, really fascinating to me. Um, you know, why don't people do it this way? Um, certainly the other one keeps falling off, but if you're constrained um, in, in space or in cost and you only have one core, and maybe the only thing you have to do is have, you know, a roll off, maybe not at double the frequency, but close by, you know, maybe this is a better filter or, or maybe it's a good notch filter. Maybe that's what it's doing. It's acting more like a notch filter. Um, so anyway, it's, 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 like I said, it's very, very interesting. Um, I could probably remove a couple windings and try to get it here to seven megahertz. I think the whole thing will just shift over though. Uh, I think that the, uh, this uh, pass band over here, this, this uh, 20, 20 dB attenuation is just, it's just, it's just flat everywhere up to 30, up to 30 megahertz. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, let's, uh, let's get out the original one again. Let me compare it. Now that I have that, that one kind of in my head, let me put the uh, let me put the original one back on so we can compare. Okay, so there's the original one. So it you know it's it's better farther out, but that's not really where you need it because your your harmonic structure usually is that your worst offender is at two uh, x uh, in double the frequency, and then the third harmonic, fourth harmonic, they may be down. Or and maybe the, the third harmonic is the worst offender. A lot of times it's the third harmonic that's the worst. So this would be a better filter if, if you needed to knock out the third harmonic. Um, and then certainly close in, it has a very, very slow roll off. Whereas this, uh, this notchy Chebyshev type weird thing uh, has a very, very steep, I'll put that one back in, has a very, very steep, uh, very steep, steep curve in the front. So yeah, very, very interesting. Um, filter, you could get, you, it's a big rat hole going down in fil filter theory. Um, there's all kinds of strange filters, but uh, um, what I was really interested in was, could you get away with just one core or do you need two cores? And uh, it seems like uh, one core might be okay for some things and two cores is better for other things. So there you go. Um, but again, if anybody knows anything about winding on single cores, uh, to do things like this, filter, filter designs with single cores, I'd really be interested in that.